Well, greetings, friends and family. This is the Monty Man here at Take12Radio.com on your internet dial. Uh, once again, uh, we have been doing some testing on our uh, our new uh, video camera here, and you may have received, for those of you who have subscribed, you have may have received uh, uh, several uh, <laughs> test videos. I do apologize for that. We should have turned that off and we failed to do so. So uh, thank you for putting up with us. Uh, we're going to try and get back on track here a little bit, at least so once a week or once every two weeks, I uh, have something on YouTube for you from Take 12 Radio and KHLT Recovery Broadcasting. Uh, today, I would like to recommend a book. Now, uh, this is by Denny Dorsey. Denny's been on our show. He's a recovery author. The book is Comedy of Errors. And let me just tell you a little bit about Denny. Denny uh, was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1951. He graduated from California State University in California uh, and in Pennsylvania with a bachelor's degree in social work. He has worked as a child pro uh, protective worker, a personal manager, and a retail store manager. Primarily, he has devoted most of his life to being a drunk and a drug addict. <laughs> Currently, he is two years into recovery and is studying to be a drug and alcohol counselor. According to Mr. Dorsey, the best part of his new life is enjoying his four grandchildren, Maya, Bradley, Lena, and Santina. And uh, I, I, I highly recommend this book. I'm going to read a, going to read an excerpt from it here, if I can find the page that I was looking for. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, this is. Uh, this is actually out of chapter one, and uh, this is referring to uh, a, uh, an apartment that he has gone to to score some drugs. Uh, the room was filled with the usual suspects, three or four guys, all messed up and sitting around. Um, for speed freaks, they were surprisingly quiet, and in fact, didn't even look up as I entered the apartment. They were Donnie's closest friends. Donnie was his dealer. I had no doubt they were the closest friends money and dope could buy. Also sitting in the dining room were two chicks who may have been good looking in a previous life. Now the scabs that covered most of their bodies kind of took away from their appearance. One of the two was tying off the other's arm as she prepared to shoot up. Teamwork among addicts was a beautiful thing. Hey, how's it going? I offered. Good man, one of the guys answered as he pointed to the mirror on the coffee table where lines of meth were neatly sitting. Normally, the answer was a no-brainer. Free dope? Yes, sir, please, was the response I had in my head. But today, what little semblance of conscience I had kicked in. No thanks, but no, Donnie, my kids are outside in the car, and I'm kind of in a hurry, I said, barely believing I was turning down free lines. That's cool, man. Here's your stuff, Donnie said, as he handed the tiny sealed bag to me. And it goes on to talk about uh, what happened with his kids and a, a, a real rude awakening that took place in the pages uh, after that. Uh, each chapter is uh, filled with some humor and uh, also some very serious points. I recommend this book highly, Comedy of Errors by Denny Dorsey, a fellow member in recovery. Check it out. Go to Take12Radio.com and our links page, and you can uh, go to this link of Comedy of Errors and pick up the book. You can also go to Amazon.com and type in Denny Dorsey, D-E-N-N-Y-D-O-R-S-E-Y. All right, until our next uh, little YouTube -yo thing here, this is the Monty Man, and I'm wishing God's perfect serenity for you. And we'll see you next time.